This is Monrovia, capital of Liberia, a small country in West Africa that is rich in natural resources but remains among the poorest in the world. A decade after a lengthy civil war and just months after a tragic epidemic of the Ebola virus, Liberia is on the way back. When we started off, Liberia had a broken country, a shattered economy. Our vision 2030 is to ensure that we have structural transformation from a long history of monopolistic practices to ensure that our vast natural resources are used for a better life for all the Liberian people. Foreign aid has been essential to getting Liberia on track. Clearly, uh, official development assistance will at some point decline and maybe end. We have to be able to raise the revenue ourselves. To do so, however, we have to grow the economy. The ultimate objective is, of course, to increase domestic revenue so that we are in the position to finance our reconstruction on our own. Peace has indeed brought new opportunities. Multinational enterprises could one day become major contributors to the budget if they pay their fair share of tax. A key principle of the LRA is to administer the law fairly and transparently. We want to work collaboratively with the multinationals, but at the same time, we want and we expect them to pay their own fair share of lawful revenues to the people of Liberia. To help make sure that happens, Liberia has a new ally, Tax Inspectors Without Borders. Launched in 2015 by the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and the United Nations Development Program, Tax Inspectors Without Borders sends experienced auditors to developing countries. They work side by side with local officials on complex audits of multinational enterprises. The objective? Raise critically needed revenues for government services like schools, hospitals, and the police. Eight pilot projects have raised more than $260 million. Fourteen projects are underway, often in partnership with regional tax bodies like the Africa Tax Administration Forum and the Inter-American Center for Tax Administrations. More will launch during 2017. 100 projects are planned by 2020. It's a hands-on approach to effectively respond to the needs of developing countries, transfer knowledge and skills, and help create a culture where everyone pays taxes and businesses know what to expect from tax administrations. Tax Inspectors Without Borders is really all about matching developing countries' demands for assistance in auditing multinational enterprises with highly competent tax audit experts who are willing to help. We are facilitating practical assistance. We're using a learning by doing approach. We have our experts working on real audit cases. Our intention is not to substitute local audit staff. Rather, it's about having the experts work alongside them, transferring the knowledge and experiences to better improve domestic resource mobilization in developing countries. One or two years ago, um, our, audit, our audit program was I would say randomly done. Our other cases were random, randomly selected. We were not auditing the multinationals because we did not have the expertise to audit them. We, of the opinion, they were involved in some form of invasion, in some form of tax dodge. The tax inspector of border brings on board the experience in how first to identify complex tax issues with these multinationals and how to treat them. Colin Clavey is a former tax official from the United Kingdom. He first visited Liberia as a tax inspector without borders in 2016. I visit the, the, the tax administration for one or two weeks at a time, and we're actually looking at real cases. We discuss um, the sort of information that we need to ask and the best ways in which we get that information. We discuss what the tax risks might be, 
and the sort of uh, knowledge we need in order to test those tax risks, plan an audit strategy, plan a technical strategy, and then actually attend audit meetings uh, alongside my colleagues here in the Liberian Revenue Authority. What they are doing now is transferring skills. They are not, they are not just doing it. And all of us will sit together, the presentations that are made, we all make input into the presentation. Because I'm, I'm sure basically they want to understand what they are doing. Because if we allow them to do it and just give it on to us, it would not be the right thing. Looking ahead, Liberia's President Johnson remains optimistic. We are quite sure that tax inspectors without borders will be able to help our revenue authority to be more efficient in managing our tax system and to reform it appropriately to ensure a greater level of revenue to support our development.